Hello everyone, uh, Matt Cornell here. Um, I just wanted to do a video on how to tie this hitch of mine. Um, I'll start by showing you what it looks like here as it's already tied with three turns up here at the top. I'm going to go ahead and take it apart and uh, show you how to tie it. This is a, a 30 inch I and I cord, B line, eight millimeter. Start the hitch. There's one turn, two, three turns. You bring this leg around and right where my thumb is at, I'll bring it, bring it up over this leg here, around the standing part of this line, touch the eye with my thumb, and bring it through where it crosses. And basically I'll have to set and dress this. Sometimes you have to roll the upper turns a little bit to set and dress it properly. Bring the two eyes together. It should look like that when it's all set and dressed. This, where this bend snakes through, it comes down through here, and the upper turn comes down and around and over under. Bring the two eyes together, take your snap. This is a DMM Rhino snap. I like it because of this little horn right here at the end of the snap. It prevents the eyes from rolling around to the main axis of the snap right here prevent any cross loading bring the splice die in to the snap got one snap basically one piece of hardware the hitch configuration real simple hitch configuration there with three turns it'll grab pretty good when the load is applied pretty fast and uh, I'm gonna hold put my weight on it pull it down tight and it breaks really nice and then as far as self tending goes grabs nice uh, the self tending part comes in with this lower bend right here on the on the B line X it mimics uh, a pulley for uh, for advancing the upper turns on the hitch But as soon as the load is applied to it, as you can see, it'll it'll bite, and that's what we want in case someone take a fall. But as far as self tending goes, I mean, I can, it'll 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 almost tend like a lock jack. Very minimal effort in uh, in tending, and it's very smooth, as you can see. So I just wanted to take the time to reshow everyone that. I'll tie it one more time so everyone can see again exactly how I tied this to where there's no confusion and hopefully uh, your memory retention as well and you'll t retain the information that I've shared with you. So I'll take the cord again. There's one, two, three I'll even go four turns this time one more across the top bring this leg around and through takes a little bit of massage in the hitch to set and dress it properly bring the legs together Now this is with four turns and it still will function very nice and self tend nice and it'll actually grab a lot quicker but it's it's a little bit stiffer three turns I, I always go with three turns because I like to be able to to really fly on my line when I'm when I'm moving around 
but four turns may be a little more beneficial for for some climbers but there's the hitch I hope you all like it this is my bread and butter basically this is the only hitch that I run it functions really well with hardware too you could put a micro pulley on there and with the four turns on there micro pulley it, it X it functions very smoothly with a little micro pulley on there this is a little uh, Petzl Asalanti. It's a little $16 pulley. Tree stuff sells them. Very, very inexpensive little pulley. Works really nice for this. And as you can see, very minimal effort in, in advancing the hitch with that little pulley on there. Thanks, uh, thanks for your interest, everyone. And in my hitch configuration here and I hope uh, that it uh, that you'll be satisfied with it uh, thank you